Well, I finally found something that the Centauri Carbon is choking on. You can see this phone case did not complete printing, but it says printing completed. Yeah. So what that means is the filament stopped feeding. And look at how wavy this filament is. This uh, XZN filament is a 95A TPU. And it's, it's like trying to, like feeding it up in here was like trying to push a wet noodle through a hose. It was very difficult. And now this is two attempts in a row where at some point it just stopped feeding. Now the last one, when I cut the filament and uh, I did an unload function, which I'm about to do here. Let's see, we'll go to extruder and do unload. When I got the filament out, there was a lump in it. And I don't think that there was a lump on the filament. Like, I don't think it was a defect in the filament. I think that there, I'm having an issue getting the temperature bracketed. And I'm using the temperature that it said here for the filament, which was, let me see, I'll grab that box, 200 to 300. I had it set at, I believe it was set at either 210 or 215. I don't remember, but well, like right towards the middle of that range. And it, uh, it, it got clogged basically. Fortunately, it didn't, you know, back up the hot end. It got clogged on the feed side, not on the output side. So that worked out. But this, this is the first challenge I've had with this printer pretty much at all. And you can see it was going great here. And then I said, all right, I wonder, since it got clogged uh, on the input side, I wonder if it wasn't warm enough. So I bumped the temperature up five degrees and it got a little stringy and five more degrees, just see what happened. It got super stringy. So I set it back. I think it was like uh, 210, 215, 220. So I set it back to 210 and it finished out, but then it had a problem. So um, maybe I'm just trying to get the temperature dialed in. I hadn't figured it out yet. Maybe if I run it again and just leave it at the same or drop it down to 205 maybe. I think I'm gonna try that. That was the one option. The other option is to switch to a different TPU that I've had better success with. I think I'm gonna drop the temperature a little bit and try again. Uh, if you have thoughts on how to make this work, let me know. It's the first time I've had a challenge with TPU, so I'm trying to figure out how to bracket the temperature and get it correct.